Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser with Litigation Support Guru. Today's tip is a feature in Snagit. Um, I use Snagit every day in uh, my role in litigation support. So <clears throat> as an example, I've gone to a browser and did a search um, for a Google Advanced Search. That's just something I teach to my students um, in the paralegal program. Um, so let's uh, create a screenshot. So I'm using Snagit version 11 and it puts a little thing up here and then I've set my default to capture a region. So I also use the keystrokes, the shortcut, um, it's control shift P. So now I can select any region I want. So let's say that I want to create a screenshot that looks like this. Okay it automatically brings it into the editor and uh, the feature is called cutout so what it allows you to do is let's say that um, you want to send this screenshot to somebody but you don't want to include all of these items so for instance um, I don't want to include uh, advanced power search or Google Scholar so I uh, select that area and noticed I went outside the edges to grab it, um, to grab a good selection area. And then you just click cut out. And then you have a bunch of options, but I choose this one because I want it to be a nice clean, as if I had taken the screenshot without that section. And then um, let's say that we don't want this section about image searches. So I'm selecting that area and clicking cut out. So that's the tip. Uh, you can <clears throat> you can select any section within um, a screenshot and cut it out. And this comes in really handy when you're um, using um, a review tool and you're trying to send a screenshot to the attorneys. So, for instance, here's um, a screenshot of relativity. <coughs> Relativity saves searches. So this is just a screenshot I took from their documentation, but it shows you like here's a search folder and here's a search folder underneath that and then here's a bunch of searches that are underneath this folder. So when I'm doing a screenshot, I want to show them like where to go. I want to show them they know how to go to the save searches um, pane and then I need to show them which folder to go to and sometimes the folder um, is all the way at the top and the save search that I need them to go look at is you know a, a lot longer than this and all the way down so I will take the screenshot of all the way up and all the way down and then I'll use the cutout feature to cut out any extraneous save searches in the middle it basically gives them a tree to go exactly where I want them to go without showing them all the stuff that's in the way. So another example is, um, here's another screenshot from their documentation. Um, another example of the reason I use the cutout feature is these are hidden, <clears throat> these are private save searches and of course I have private save searches all the time in the middle of what they see, the attorneys see, so I will do a screenshot up above, like right here, I might grab it of this folder, and then I'll take out, let's say this is the save search I need them to see, I will take out these two save searches that are in the way, um, that are my private ones, I don't want them to see them in the screenshot. Another way that I use it is <clears throat> when I have a um, coding panel and I'm trying to direct them to a new section, let's say I created a new um, section in the coding panel and I only want to you know direct them to that uh, section then uh, I could do this I could do a big screenshot um, <clears throat> and and you now and highlight and I've done that too just put a circle around the section that I'm talking about but sometimes uh, the section is all the way down at the bottom like when we're doing QC and so <clears throat> I'll um, do a screenshot of the whole thing and then just take out the parts that uh, you know extraneous in terms of me giving them information so <clears throat> that's my tip and hope you can put that to good use